Recall ballots either already in or on their way to mailboxes. The state's top elections and law enforcement officials are urging Californians to get out there and vote. But this comes as some are now questioning the constitutionality of California's recall process. Crown Force Ashley Zavala shows us how state leaders are reacting. We want to make sure every Californian votes because this is an important decision, like every decision that we make in election. Secretary of State Shirley Weber and Attorney General Rob Bonta reminding California voters to make a plan to get their ballots in for the recall election. And the last thing we want to hear on, on September 15th is that someone forgot to go to the polls. Both Bonta and Weber are in their respective offices because of the man at the center of the recall, Governor Gavin Newsom. Newsom appointed Weber as Secretary of State when the position was left by now U.S. Senator Alex Padilla. The governor also appointed Bonta to Attorney General when President Joe Biden picked Javier Becerra to join his administration. Vote no on that ballot, right? As Democrats push for higher voter turnout among concerns of a lack of enthusiasm in the party, the state leaders were asked about the appropriate appropriateness of their message Monday. What is the alternative to it? Uh, to suppress the voting because you think there may be more Democrats registered in California than others? Uh, that in itself would be um, uh, against everything that I believe in. A separate issue the two could face, questions about the constitutionality of California's recall process overall. This comes as some legal scholars note voters might not have an equal say in the outcome of the election because the law allows Newsom to be replaced by a candidate who gets fewer votes on question two than he does on question one. Bonta would not say if he's ready to defend the state's recall election laws should their constitutionality be challenged in court. We're aware of that and we'll be coordinating with the Secretary of State's office to determine next steps. Um, and so, uh, you know, that's where we are in that process. State leaders say for now, the way the process is set up is legally compliant. They promise the election will be carried out securely and with integrity. In Sacramento, Ashley Zavella, Cron 4 News.